going on, everybody? Welcome back to TheBeatMajors.net. Yo, I'm still celebrating the, two, the uh, 2K subs, man. So, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to everybody, man, for uh, subscribing and just being a supporter, man. I appreciate all of y'all. But I just want to get that out the way. Um, So, lately, man, uh, ever since I dropped this beat called Hurricane on the channel, man, everybody's been asking me um how I did, like, the... Uh, there's, like, some kick rolls in here. So, people have been asking me, how did you do the uh, kick rolls? And I decided, all right... Instead of explaining this 20,000 times, let me go ahead and just make a video and just kind of help y'all producers out and just uh, basically just show y'all how I, you know, brought this to life. Now, these kick rolls, I kind of was in the, the mindset of TM88 when he did a uh, EXO tour life for uh, Lil Uzi. Um, he did some kick rolls on there, but let me play the beat just so you can kind of um, hear what I'm talking about. Um, let's check it out. Sorry for all the clicking and popping, man. <clears throat> when I record these videos, I have to have them in the uh, FL Studio ACO, and it kind of it just makes it sound nasty, and it just kind of slows everything down. So I apologize for the clicks and pops. But anyway, um, so the kick rolls, um, as you can see right here, this these are the the kick rolls right here. So usually with kick rolls or snare, it's kind of the same thing as snare rolls, but you're doing it on a kick instead of a snare. So what I did was I had this kick here, um, and it was just a normal pattern. And what I did was I went up here to the snap to grid option and I changed it. Now, as you can see how it is right here, um, and they're all, you know, there's two boxes, two boxes. Uh, so what you got to do is you got to go here. Um, and usually when you change the timing, it changes the grid as well. So you, that's basically a half step, as you can see. You know what I'm saying? So that's all you pretty much have to do. So... Let me go to a different pattern and put it on loop mode real quick. Um, and I'll just kind of find an empty pattern. So basically, all we're going to do is I'm going to. So this kick is in a, is in a loop mode on a, has the, uh, has the uh, loop, loop points on or whatever. Um, so basically, like I said, what I did was. So that's one, you know, that gives us our, so let's turn the metronome on. So it's a simple little pattern, right? So if you, you know, with something like that, I'll just, uh, you know, copy that, bring that to back, bring another one over here just to kind of have a double thing going here or a whole, uh, um, quick little one bar four bar loop um, and then basically what you do like I did is you know of course you change it now I'm in a, a higher tempo so it's gonna be in a half step so when you change it to half step because usually I usually have my set to none so I don't really I don't really get involved with the timing I, I, I hate it I turn the quantize off so I but in order for you to do the roll you have to have the timing and the quantize on so half step and basically what I did was Boom, as you can already see, it's already set to one one step. So then I add another one, another one, and another one. So now it's gonna sound like this. But as you can see, that's not really a roll. I mean, that's essentially a roll, but not really a roll. So since it's in a half step, we're gonna go just like this. And we're gonna boom. But since we're going to cut some of those. So now. So that's basically how you would do uh, the kick rolls. Like I said, it's kind of, it's pretty much essentially the same thing as a snare roll. Um, but all you're doing is you're just changing the, t the, the grids, the snap of the grid. 
Um, and it's going to be different for different tempos. You know, sometimes if you're at a slower tempo, it might be, uh, you know, a four, a quarter, a half, a four, one fourth step. It just depends um, on what you're, you know, you're doing. Um, and I don't like the way FL sets this up. I, I so wish they would change this um, instead of doing half beat, third beat, fourth. Like, I, I don't like that. So, but again, this, that's pretty much how I did it. You just go in, change the, the snap of the grid and the piano roll. Um, and then it, it'll, it should match, um, for the timing of your tempo. Um, and then, you know, once you get the snare roll, as you saw, I basically had to cut it in half. So it was one whole one, but I had to cut that in half and add another one so that it'd come up like this. And that's basically how you would do a kick roll or snare roll. So you can apply the same thing, um, with snares. Um, I won't get too deep into timing, like different time signatures and things like that, because that doesn't really matter. Um, it's going to be different for different uh, tempos and different beats, um, just depending on how you want the snare roll to be, because it could have been the same or kick roll. Um, it could have been we can go back to how we had it and get whoops and get rid of these ones in the middle and just do like that. That's still a roll, essentially, you know. Um, just, it's just, uh, it's not, it's not cut in half. So that's how you do the, the kick rolls, man. I hope this helps you guys. I hope this helps your music production. I hope you guys got some value out of this. If you did definitely give this video, this video a thumbs up, man. If you're not subscribed, definitely hit the subscribe button. And if you are hit that bell button so you can become a part of notification gang, man. And, um, so you don't miss out on any more of these tutorials. Um, leave me some comments, you know, let me know, uh, what you'd like to see in, in future videos, man. Um, and I'll try to uh, make those happen. I got more tutorials coming, but uh, just leave me some comments to give me some ideas so I can start giving you guys some better um, content that's catered to you guys because you guys make all this possible for me. So I appreciate you guys, man. And until next time, as I always say, uh, holla. Peace.